Hello, welcome to the Nerdy Metal Dude channel. I'm a Nerdy Metal Dude. I took the last two pumpkins, my last two pumpkins of the year anyway, and I combined them into one video because I was cutting them on the same day. And uh, at the end of this, it's only three and a half minutes. At the end, there's something that kind of ties in with the Invictus as I move on into Invictus compared to Bilar, long swords of similar design. Uh, the Shinwa, you'll see, uh, I'm still working with that one a little bit. There's, I've got some questions that can only be answered by taking it apart, you know, and so I want to do that before I start the video. Anyway, uh, let's just go ahead with this. Uh, it looks like I'm missing again. It's because I'm cutting with the tip. Let's rock and roll. Off we go with the Shinwa Dragon Lord. I know, I need to tie down that left arm of mine. This left arm of mine. Oh, there they are. There's four slices in there. I think another still, a close-up is coming. Here we go. Yeah, there's a, there's a slice there. One, two, three, and four. And it's taking the pumpkin apart quite handily. Oh. I think I got a little excited there. Almost <laughs> lost it. <laughs> okay. There we go. Head and head. Looks like one of those surface cuts flopped open there. Okay. There it is. There's a dinner bowl for the board. Dinner bowl. Yeah, the squirrels do like it. They do a good job of cleaning up the seeds. Here comes Invictus. Yeah, it was a one-handed lazy swing. Shaving, shaving pieces and thin layers off. I guess I'm working towards the bowl again. Now you see how nimble the tip is on this blade. This blade is very maneuverable. Got a nice nimble tip. Alright, bring the bowl off. I will attribute that to the taper. Whoops. Too much. Too much. Here I slowed it down. Hey, you'll, you'll see a little flex action here, and I've got some uh, stills of it uh, regarding the Rhinelander and the way it flexed at that one particular section having to do with the fuller. There, there's the flex. I think it flexed maybe because it, I don't know, did it catch on the garbage can? Yeah, either way. Hey, you can see it's sharp enough to be cutting the seeds, not just pushing them aside. So, you know, that's, yeah, it looks like it caught the, the garbage can there. There's the extreme sharp flex. It's like, whoa. And this one, much smoother as it comes over. So, I'll, look a little closer between the Invictus, the Rhinelander, and the Bilar. And just to see if there's any validity to my fuller theories or not. <laughs> anyway. Alright everybody, thanks for stopping by. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up with that. Pumpkin season's over. I'm jumping on the Bilar Arms Longsword now. And uh, I'm going to try to get that thing rolling. Alright, have a great day and rock on.